So I'm here with Jordan Travers. He's got a book out, it's called Man Alive. He's a pretty smart young man. He's managed to make himself a few dollars on the cryptos. Yes. So Jordan, how the hell did you make money out of cryptocurrency? And how much did you make? I think it was 2013, I got a tip from a mate who'd made a fair bit of money, undisclosed amount of Bitcoin. Yep. And uh, he was basically telling me all about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology and how this would revolutionize the world. And I was like, sounds pretty cool. And then so I think I put a few thousand dollars on Bitcoin um, and about 1500 bucks on Ethereum. So after that point, I, uh, I stayed on top of my holdings, you know, I watched them every day, my Bitcoin. And uh, I actually forgot about Ethereum because my mate said, put it in the bottom drawer and just forget about it for a few years. I said, okay. But the Bitcoin, I was, I was obsessed. I was reading all the news, I was doing everything. And then I was buying, buying low, selling high. And, <laughs> and um, I was trying to pick the top and, and the bottom. Just by looking at the, the pretty lines on the, on, the, yeah, on the screen. Eventually, I probably broke even and fully sold out with no dollars. So you made no money out of Bitcoin at all? No. After trading, how many trades did you do? Uh, probably 15. 15 trades yeah, during the course over a of a year. And Bitcoin over this time has gone from. To now? Yeah, to now. What's Bitcoin worth 15 now? 15 grand. 15,000 yeah. Aussie, we're talking, right? Yeah, so I had, uh, I've only had like probably 10 of them or something like that. So yeah. not too much. Still a lot of money. It would have been now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but luckily, I forgot about Ethereum. I had yeah, so you, hold on, you forgot about Ethereum. You forgot about the $1,500 worth. I had the file there on my computer. Okay. So I knew it was there, but basically, you know, when you see something so often, you just forget it's even there. Yeah, right. And then in, I think, March, Ethereum started to make the news again. Yeah. And a few weeks later, I was like, Why don't, I'll check what I, how much I have. So I went home that night, probably about 10 o'clock because I had a late night training clients. And then I uh, basically logged onto my account as best I could, but it's pretty primitive. The actual system there, you know, it takes hours to download the blocks, the blockchain and all that yeah. sort of thing. And so I was going, what the hell am I doing? And then I forgot my password because you're supposed to make this super encrypted, <laughs> ridiculous yeah. password that no one could ever remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, eventually I got in and, um, and then it came up with 5,190 ether. So at the time they were worth $73 each. Okay. Okay. And so I obviously panicked and had 400 grand all of a sudden in my bank account, close to it. So you're 25, it's still a pretty daunting thing to yeah, face. I mean, when, you've had, when you've just got PT wages and you've just yeah, been exactly. I mean, toiling away. Two years ago, I was earning 16 grand a year. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. it's a big difference, yeah, right? right? So all of a sudden you wake up with you know, 30 times your annual wage. Yeah. So the next day I went out to um, uh, South Bank and, and sold some with a, with a broker because I didn't know how to do this stuff. You know? Yeah, right. I just didn't want to even touch it because I might lose it all. And uh, then I made, made the deal with them and that sort of thing. And then over the next six weeks, I watched the price rise sevenfold. <laughs> and so I was going, oh my gosh. So had I held on, I would have had about two and a half million when it got to 550. But I still had a few ether left, which was great. And so over that period, I've you know, sold a little bit more, sold a little more as it continues to rise and um, converted some to Bitcoin and then sold blah, 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 blah. Ended up with about 1.2. Big win. Mm. Big, big win. From 1500 to 1.2. Yeah. How did you figure out when to sell? Mm. Obviously the first time is just like, I need to put some of this money away. Mm -hmm. So what, what about the next time you've gone back and the time? I mean, hindsight's a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Ideally I would have held on to them. And with such a speculative market like cryptocurrency, you can't really pick it, you know, as I found out with my Bitcoin trading, you know, three years ago. Yeah. And so really it was, it was 100% an emotional decision for me um, since the, initial radical anxiety has died down. Now it's like whenever I get a bit more anxious from how much I'm holding, I'll just sell some more. So it's purely- it's Behavioral. It's purely behavioral. It's yeah. a strategy to make my life better and not accumulate as much as possible. So I'm probably the worst investor in the world. Being so Completely, just could, could not disagree with you more. You have no fundamental basis to hold that investment. Mm -hmm. So therefore, what is, only, what is left? Exactly well, right. Only emotional. Only emotion. So, so that's great much. that you can acknowledge that. Sure. You're 25 years old. Mm -hmm. You ideally want to have some of this when you're 55 years old and when mm -hmm. you're 75 years old. I'm sure in your health and fitness, you'll be 125 years old. <laughs> so what are you going to do with it? Since that you know, initial day of 
that night when I yeah. found out that I had 400 grand. I've really dedicated pretty much all my waking time to figure out what the hell money means and how to manage it. Do you think like the Bitcoin bubble will burst or do you think it's not a bubble? Do you think the price is going to keep going? I don't know. I'm not going to predict anything because it would yeah, just no. be a yeah. complete number out of the hat. Could be zero, could be a million dollars each. Um, but the actual technology is phenomenal behind it. You know, instant trading, anonymous, but also completely trackable. Um, it's something that is gonna revolutionize the world, but it may not be the specific currency that people are putting all their money in. So for me, uh, I'd like to see my money go in the hands of people who are managing a diverse group of currencies and blockchain solution technology, things like that, rather than trying to pick the next unicorn. I think a lot of people are mistakenly trying to do that. So Matt, thanks for being so open and honest about it. You're welcome. And I uh, appreciate your time. Cheers. Cheers.